when I was going through a really difficult patch in my personal life, professional life, I went through what's called the why me syndrome. All of us get it. Why is anything why is this happening with me? Why me? And the power of moms, right? I think moms are superheroes. I think the power of moms is that they are your compass in life. जब भी आप लॉस्ट फील करो ना अपनी माँ के गोद में जाके सर रख लो माँ के साथ एक कमरे में बैठ के बातें कर लो आपका रेडार ठीक हो जाएगा आपका कंपस ठीक हो जाएगा आपको दिशा वापस मिल जाएगी यू विल गेट योर डायरेक्शन इन लाइफ बैक एंड दैट्स द पावर ऑफ मॉम्स दैट्स व्हाट्स अमेजिंग अबाउट दम वेदर दे नो अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट ऑन दे नो यू दे नो यू बेटर देन यू नो यू माई माई मॉम आस्ट मी ओनली वन क्वेश्चन शी सेट बेटर वेन यू आर विनिंग फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड वेन यू आर विनिंग एवरी सिंगल अवार्ड इन द बुक when people were screaming your name whistling for you when you were being celebrated did you ask why me so when you're getting it and everything is going good you don't ask why me when things are not going your way you ask why me that's not okay that's hypocritical so then she has been somebody who's been serving cancer patients for and terminally ill patients for many many years and serving means real seva like going there meeting them interacting with them un ghar se unka favorite khana bana ke leke jana just reading books to them uh, you know stuff like that people in their final stages where families can't have enough time with them and they feel like they're dying alone in a hospital those are the people that she served and i only heard about it i never actually went there she said come with me one day and we ended up at tata memorials pediatric wing where i walked in and i saw all these kids koi 7 saal ka 8 saal ka 10 saal ka baal ude hue hain aankh lal hain all fighting cancer mostly leukemia that was a life changing moment for me that day that day i learned two things the first thing i said is yaar i have no right to say my life is difficult there is a 7 year old kid who's been pulled out of school is going through chemotherapy losing her hair seeing her parents cry every single day and she is there in front of her i can't say i have issues none of my issues compare right none of my problems compare the second thing that i realized that was changed my life was when i walked in despite all these issues and all the pain every child every parent in that ward smiled i realized this is a gift from god i didn't have to do anything i didn't have to write them a check i didn't have to give them money I didn't have to buy them gifts they just smiled by looking at me you are you have been blessed that you can use your power of celebrity to truly celebrate life go in and touch somebody's hearts make them smile i spent time after that there reading books to those kids and then it became such a thing that every year from 2003 4 to now i celebrate my birthday with survivors and new patients so i throw a big party for them we have a huge carnival we have you know people coming in dressed in different uh, avatars and they we have mascots and we have lots of masti and i that's how i celebrate my birthday every single year i celebrate my birthday with the exception of this year because of covid i celebrate my birthday every single year with cancer patients kids we have now over the last 17 18 years helped save more than 250000 children all farmers children poor dhai lakh bachche giving them free cancer treatments free chemotherapy subsidized therapies so this is to me the true meaning of life then it doesn't matter how many zeros you have in your bank then it doesn't matter how many awards you have in your shelf you know the the funniest thing about awards on the shelf and i have maybe 40 50 awards on my shelves now over the last 18 years and all decent there big awards the funniest thing is that when you forget about them and you come back after maybe a month of shooting somewhere they all have dust on them they're just lying there with mitti dust and then you have to call a staff member and say yaar isko zara pocho yaar award hai mere kya kar rahe ho and then you realize the meaningless of it all vivek i have to share a story a one character has just told me i said what do you do with your award he said main usse akrot todta hu chalo usne kam se kam kuch kaam to nikala and the story you shared to me with me about that uh, your experience with the cancer patients I just want to share one quick story. My dad had taken me to the blind school. We used to live in Worli. So there's a national association. Oh, NAB. I'm aware. I've been there. 
and I was distributing chocolates and they said, humko chocolate nahi chahiye, humko aankhe chahiye. I was, that just, like you said, no, it altered your state of mind. Yeah. It just kind of changed my mind. You realize how privileged you are? Subscribe to the Rock Vidya YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates.